I found 13 of the easiest work from home jobs for 2024. These are jobs that are easy to land. And in many cases, they're going to be relatively easy once you actually start working. Easy money, easy money. And my team and I do about 100 hours of work on each one of these videos to make sure that they're all top notch and we give you the best possible options. So if you appreciate that, go ahead and let us know by gently tapping that like button. And let's get into it with number one on the list, which is going to be a social listening analyst. And this is basically where you analyze social media conversations to detect things like trends. And this is invaluable because you're gathering public insights that can help you with things like marketing, branding, and an organization's communication strategies. And companies of all shapes and sizes are seeking these digital detectives. And social listening analysts make about $59,000 to $91,000 a year. So this is another one of those relatively new careers where you don't have to have a college degree or previous experience. And you actually have an advantage if you're young because you grew up using social media. And by the way, here's some job opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen and you can check them out if you'd like to. So this one's pretty good. I will give it an 8 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a sourcing specialist. And this is basically where you work for a company tracking down suppliers and making sure that you get the best bang for the buck. I know a guy who knows a guy who knows another guy. Their job is to secure goods, materials, services, and even people in some cases, all while keeping the budget in check. And this is another one of those jobs that you can easily do remotely. And sourcing specialists make about 60 to $89,000 a year. Now this is one where it's typically best if you do have some experience in a particular industry or working in a particular career, but you don't necessarily have to. And it's relatively easy to get into. Here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. So I'm gonna give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a launch specialist. And typically launch specialists are tasked to launch a new website or product. And what's involved with this is coordinating closely with clients, conducting audits, and prioritizing customer satisfaction. Now, in many cases, people get hired full time. And in some cases, they'll kind of get hired as a consultant or they'll get hired for a contract period. This means you may be busy at certain times, but once the product's launched, it's a relatively chill job. And they make around 60 to 100,000 dollars a year. So overall, this is going to be one of the harder ones on the list. Although, like I said, there are going to be periods where it's easier. Here are some job opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen right now. So I'll give this one a seven out of 10 opportunity score. And by the way, this would fall under the category of digital marketing. And there's lots of different job opportunities within digital marketing. And I've interviewed a ton of different people on this channel that have actually gotten jobs in digital marketing. For instance, one of them was a 16 year old named James who was able to make a full time income only working 30 hours a week. Week. And all of them learned what's necessary to get their job from my friend Seth. And Seth does have a free digital marketing masterclass, which you can check out. I'll put it down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. Next on the list is going to be a medical science writer. And basically what they do is they decode the mystical language of medicine and they craft documents, articles, and manuals about all things healthcare related. Now, this is one of those jobs where you need to be working in healthcare, but you don't necessarily have to work in a particular healthcare career. You just have to have healthcare experience. And medical science writers make $68 to $115,000 a year. Here's an opportunity. I'll put it up on the screen. You can check it out. So yeah, this one is really good, especially if you're already working in healthcare and you kind of want to transition into a different career. I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a channel sales representative. And this is kind of a position where you're like the conductor of a sales orchestra. And you're going to be responsible for selling a company's products, usually through resellers or channels. So you're basically going to be developing sales strategies, securing deals with vendors or resellers, and building relationships with clients. And channel sales representatives make $84,000 to $146,000 a year. Now, there's a lot of different sales roles out there, and they're almost all relatively easy to get into. But the truth is, sales is not for everyone. But liquor, our prices have never been lower. So if you're the type of person that could potentially be good at sales, this is going to be a great opportunity for you. But if you're not the type of person who's good at sales, you're probably not going to do this for very long. But either way, I think everyone should do a sales job at least one time in their life. It really builds a lot of character and it teaches you many skills that are going to be applicable to just about any area of your life. Now, this is going to be one of the harder ones on the list. It's very easy to land, but it's not an easy job. So for that reason, I'm going to give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a digital production coordinator. And this is kind of like being a traffic controller of entertainment. 
And you are, of course, going to be in charge of digital production, right? So a company is going to be creating content. Maybe they're doing it for ads or maybe they're posting it on their YouTube or Instagram. And you are going to be in charge of the production of that. And this is going to be everything from setting up the production itself all the way to managing schedules and budgets. And digital production coordinators make about forty-five to $70,000 a year. So again, this is a relatively new career because social media hasn't been around for that long. And so because it's a new career, it's relatively easy to get into it. Here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. But with that being said, this is another one of those that's going to be a little bit harder than some of the other ones on the list. So for that reason, I'm only going to give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a claims reviewer. And they're basically the unsung heroes of the insurance world, meticulously evaluating claims to ensure fairness and proper process. So basically how this works is let's say somebody gets rear ended, they get in an accident, and then they submit the claim to their insurance company. The claims reviewer is going to review the claim, see if they have enough evidence, see whose fault it was. <laughs> All right, so a little earthquake there. I'm back now. Where was I? So claims reviewers make about forty-seven to seventy-five thousand dollars a year, and this is one of those jobs that is very easy to land. You don't have to have a college degree or previous experience. It's also relatively easy to do once you land the job. Doesn't require any advanced skills or anything like that. Now here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can pause the video and check them out if you'd like to. So overall, I'm going to give this one an eight out of ten opportunity score. Next is going to be a narrator. Now there's many different types of narration you can do, but basically what you're doing here is you are speaking out loud the written word. Oh! One example of this would be audiobook narration. And narrators make about fifty-five dollars to $101,000 a year. And there's a big gap there because there's certain niches of narration that make more than others. Here are some job opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. So yeah, this is another pretty good option, one to look into. I will give it a seven out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a benefits specialist. And this is basically a role where you're kind of working in an HR setting. So you're the human resources person that's tasked to keep everyone happy. And one way to keep everyone happy is making sure that they have good benefits. And benefits specialists make forty-seven to $70,000 a year. Here are some job opportunities you can check out, pause it if you'd like. I'll put them up on the screen right now. And this is another one where you don't need a college degree, previous experience. It's very easy to get into. May not be the most glamorous job in the world, but it's relatively good. And for that reason, I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is a public affairs associate. And this is someone who works behind the scenes and crafts public relations strategies. And this involves managing communications with shareholders and shaping the public opinion or perception of the company's brand. And public affairs associates make 60 to $99,000 a year. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. Now, you don't necessarily need a bachelor's degree to start this one, but it usually is preferred. However, you can get into this without having a college degree. And this one is relatively chill. You just kind of have to have the skills of public relations. And it's one of those things where you either have it or you don't, right? Do you have the ability to understand optics and how things play out? If you do, this job's gonna be great for you and it's gonna be relatively chill. So for that reason, I'll give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a patient safety specialist. And this is a person who would work in the healthcare industry and they're tasked with patient safety. Clear. And this involves coordinating safety projects, analyzing incidents, and implementing programs to minimize errors. I have some rather exciting news. You're pregnant. They're basically the healthcare industry's quality assurance champions. Now with this one, they are gonna prefer people who have a college degree, and they're also gonna prefer people who have a background in healthcare. But this is a relatively chill job. It's not one where you constantly have people breathing down your neck or you have to be customer facing, but you do need to make sure that people are safe. And so this one is relatively good, but for people who are easily stressed out, this one could be bad for them. Here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. So I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a project coordinator assistant. Now this is usually a position that happens in the art world and you're usually going to be helping to support and streamline the coordination of various artistic and cultural projects. And in this position you'd make about 46 to $67,000 a year. Now here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can pause the video and check them out if you'd like to. So this is one of those things where it's going to be a really easy job for you if you love art anyways because if you're getting paid to do art then you're basically getting paid to do what you love. But this one can be a bit harder to actually 
actually land that initial job, even though it is an assistant role. So for that reason, I'll give this one a seven out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a membership specialist and their role is all about fostering a sense of community and they promote organization, drive membership sales and ensure member satisfaction. I'm happy, healthy and alive. And another way of saying this is they are the ultimate community builders. So there's lots of different companies out there that have memberships. In fact, memberships are one of the most common and most popular services that companies offer and they're only getting more and more common. And in this role, you'd make about 43 to $66,000 a year. And it is a relatively new role, especially in the digital world. So there's a lot of opportunities for people who don't have a college degree or previous experience to get into it. So overall, I'm gonna give this one an opportunity score of eight out of 10. By the way, if you haven't checked it out already, I did make a video on seven remote jobs that are almost always hiring. And you can check that out by clicking right here.